What is up, everybody? Um, today we're gonna be doing another video, me and Barky. Um, took a little break from the wheels. We got one left to disassemble, disassemble, and one left to clean right here. Um, then we gotta disassemble that one, and then um, we can start putting them together after we clean them up. Um, but yeah, so we took a break with that for a minute, and. Um, I got some LED lights for the inside as well. Uh, I made a video a few weeks ago about the LED license plate bulbs, which I loved, so I figured I'd do the inside as well. Um, I think I'm just going to do the two dome ones, like above the um, seats area, whatever. But uh, so, yeah, that's what this video is going to be. Um, very short, but some of you guys might have questions about it or something, but. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward, so, uh, but I thought I'd make a video for it anyway. Um, as far as the Z mods go, we got uh, camber arms and toe arms for the rear, um, KSP performance. I don't know how uh, good KSP is, um, never heard of it really, but uh, yeah, so, I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, if one of them snaps or something, but... Amazon mods. Yeah, I had a gift card, so I didn't want to waste money when I could have bought the wheels. So, uh, yeah. So as far as the wheels go, um, we got the f two fronts cleaned. Um, you can tell the barrels are pretty l good looking. Um, we got the faces and lips all cleaned. Tail lip is very clean. Uh, still needs some polishing done, but it's getting there. Uh, the faces are up there, and uh, so yeah. Let's get started on the lights. I also said that um, I was gonna finish. I finished up the radio install, and which looks great. And then I finished up the Crown Royal shift boot. Stop install. So the uh, the Crown Royal shift bag boot thing came out a lot better than I thought. I've never done one before, but it turned out pretty much perfect. Um, so this is what it looks like. Uh, the words are just perfect. Um, it could be a little higher up toward the middle, but this bag is pretty stretched at the bottom, and it, it took some some time to do this. But uh, and then I put a zip tie on the front and the back, and you can barely you can't even see it, so it holds it up there nice. Um, other than that, it's super even and it works perfect, so it looks pretty cool. I don't know how long I'll keep it on there, but it does look cool and it's something different. And then uh, there's the radio install. I uh, got the dash pieces in. Everything works perfect, so um, yeah, super excited. I went to eBay again for some LED lights because I'm cheap as hell. Um, classy Autos Nissan 350Z. Five pieces. Uh, two of these are the bulbs for the back license plate, but this is this was still super cheap. Um, in this video, for these, we're going to be using this and this, not these three. Um, and we're going to be placing these two bulbs in here. Um, it's super easy to do. This is a, this is a before, just like kind of ugly, and not very bright. And then we'll show you an after. So to start, we're going. We gotta take these plastic pieces off. Uh, just take a flathead and uh, kind of pop kinda it off. Yeet it just a little bit. Yeah, just yeet it a little bit, and then be careful with it. You don't want to, you know, break the stuff like I'm about to do probably. Um, there we go. So and you can tell the bulb is up there. Um, it's kind of ugly. Not very bright, like I said, so once I got this plastic piece off, um, you can tell that it goes back in a certain way, and the clips look pretty flimsy, so don't don't be too harsh on them. The bulbs that is going in, um, it's obvious which side goes down the side with all the bulbs on it, so um, just take the old one out and put the new one in. Alright, so the old one's out. Oh, cool. <laughs> Rip. Uh, 
that was a fail right there. Um, I had it like this. Um, it needs to be like this. So just test it until you find which way it works, I guess. But, uh, okay, now it's in. Damn. That's uh, pretty bright. You can tell before and after. Cool. So let's put the cover back on now so we don't get blinded. And uh, I'm going to be careful putting it back in. I can't really see because I'm stared at that light. Alright. Nice. I'm digging that. So you got to put the outside in first. There's little tabs there and then just push up on this side and uh, it goes in perfectly. Awesome. That is uh, pretty bright. So it's pretty bright, um, as you can probably tell in the video. Um, I'm super excited. I'm going to do the Owen all the way back yonder. And I hope one of those other bulbs works. I think it does. There's only five lights. So, two right here, one on the back, and then two for the license plate. Um, so, I'm sure it's the same thing. You guys don't need to see that. But um, this is just how to do the dome lights. Um, this is the same for a G35 um, as it is for the Nissan 350Z. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, the next video will be an assembly video of the WEDs. Um, and they're going on pretty soon. I just got to get coilovers. Then um, fenders rolled and pulled possibly. And then an alignment and we'll be looking good. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever. Um, yeah.